Okay guys, let me explain Thieves a little bit better than last time with dual pistols and sword and knife. Oh, do I have another dagger? Oh, I have another. No, I don't have another dagger. Okay, well I'll explain sword and knife and dual pistol because they're the most, well, they're, the, they're most, the most effective ones I think and the most easy ones you'll find to use in PvP and World v World. Basically what you want to be doing as a thief is constantly smacking and whacking your opponent until they finally give up. So you're going to be just popping out abilities left, right and centre, making sure they can't hit you, but popping invisibility which is important to have blinding powder if you're a PvP fan all, at all times in your extra um, skills, utility skills slot. You do have a lot of others which um, open windows for other combinations but I'm going to explain to you my combination for today which is spider venom, blinding powder and caltrops. Now spider venom is very important if you're using pistols or dagger and sword because you don't have any bleed abilities. Now with dual daggers you have bleed abilities because um, you have heart seeker things like that. I think Heartseekers bleed, I'm not sure. Nonetheless, and uh, as well as Caltrops, which obviously, while that's on cooldown, make sure you've got Spider Venom, because Spider Venom will poison your foe and make sure that they're constantly losing health. Whenever you're, even when you're not attacking, you want them to be losing health. Otherwise, you probably won't be able to defeat someone like a warrior. Good warrior, PvP won't be able to take care of them unless you've got bleed on them or poison on them at all times. Bleed's more effective than poison because it's constant damage. Poison, Poison's good. It's not the best, but it's good. Withdraw. Now, I put, I chose withdraw because it offers movement and you always, you always want to stay on the move during uh, PvP as a thief. So I have withdraw, roll backward while healing and evade attacks, cures immobilized. So that's 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 your roll. So if you combine that with blinding powder, you know they they're not going to have a clue where you are for a good few seconds, and then that's time for your steal, where you shadow step to them, take one of their abilities, and throw it in their face. Followed by that, you've got quite a quick cooldown on withdraw, so you can keep you can keep busting it. Even if you don't lose that much health, because it is a healing ability, even if you haven't lost that much health, you can use it as a moving utility, because the cooldown is so small. Before you go into any fight, always pop that. Always pop your poison, because it doesn't matter how big or small the enemy is, you're going to want to poison them. Flanking strike, very useful. Make sure you check the cooldowns on that, because flanking strike always keeps you behind them and they're not going to have a clue where you are if you constantly bust, bust your number Next, before you Next, five strike. attacks inflict poison. Oh, that's like my sharpening stone. Is that what it's called? Yeah, sharpening stone. It bleeds my foes for the next five attacks. Now that's better. Matt's ranger ability, sharpening stone, is better than spider venom. I think I have, the, I have the ability it. to bleed. That's it down in chat. If you want to look at it. You do have others. You've got deal 15% more damage on your next five attacks, which is Assassin's Signet. Now, 50% more damage on your next five attacks seems really OP in Uber. It's actually not that good because it's not intermittent constant damage. So, when you do that, that's why I don't pick that, because when you do that, they're just going to heal it straight off. Five attacks happen just like that, and they're just going to heal. They can just heal that straight off. If you poison them, or bleed them. That's that's constant. They can't heal. They can't heal that. Even if they do pop their heal, they'll still be bleeding afterwards. So you're still going to deal effective although health. Although you do get some classes which can can shed their condition damage stuff. Yeah. Now like, I used to I, use immobility stuff like tripwire, set a trap that knocks down foes, or immobilize and poison. Now the poison part of that's good, but the immobilizing it's not necessary. And a trap, a trap they can avoid a trap. Any good PvP here always looks for traps. So these sort of things I've gone off now. I prefer to deal physical bleeding and poisoning or visual impairment for my enemy. Otherwise they just find me. They just track you down and kill you even after you've knocked them down. 
you you don't have enough time to kill them while they're just knocked down. You need to just make sure there's a bleed on them. And now you should always have you can't you should never have two ranged. You should always be able to switch from melee to ranged. And my ideal build up for you guys to take on would be double pistol and then sword and dagger. Because sword and dagger is the best way to avoid being hit by your enemy. With double knives, you can easily be hit by your enemies. So, here we are, here's a perfect oh, example. Okay. Watch this. <laughs> Just lay all my traps down. So, poison, caltrops, pop your invisibility, switch to your knives, oh, switch to your pistols, sorry. Pop your pistols. Keep everyone nice and cloaked up. Number three is your absolute best friend when you're using pistols. Always make sure you use unload if you have it available, unless you're using your initiative for something else. Oh, something's up. There we are. Now for thieves, I think leather is the um, final. Well, like it says here, fine medium chest armor, completely wearable. You'll be surprised actually at the stuff you can't wear. I was surprised. It's not normally a problem though, you'll normally find stuff that you want or need. Yeah, look at all my stuff. Now I don't have all of my accessories filled out, but I think that's not a problem so far. Because normally you can... PvE is not, not difficult in this game, unless you're way out of your depth in your storyline. In which case, just get to World v World or something, just do some farming, get some... Do your dailies. Do some hearts. If you haven't got any hearts to do, just uh, look for some achievements to do because they're a good way to get experience. Dagger. I've, um, make sure when you are. Let me just go to it. <laughs> make sure when you're picking your traits, if you're using sword and dagger, um, to. Which one was it? To get trickery so that stealing gives you a plus three initiative. So when I pop my steel. I gain three initiative, then that, that will unlock these abilities a lot more often during fights, which is quite effective. So let me show you. I'm just going to pull a firefly. Do that. So you see how, see how quickly my initiative over down, down here runs out? Now, that is because I'm spending it all. Obviously, I'm using my, using my special abilities a lot, quite often. So, when you steal and you gain an extra three initiative, you're going to be quite happy. You're going to be quite happy with that. See, like that? Suddenly I have my uh, flanking strike unlocked again. Yeah. 